welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander, and today we're taking a look at um, a series of folio games from Decision Games, and it's their it's their D-Day folio series. Uh, so we have all four of them here. So it's Sword Beach, uh, Golden Juno, Omaha, and Utah. And so this is landing at Link Up, Beach to Bocage, Across the Horn, onto Calm. This is four separate um, games, and it uses their fire and movement system, which is, I don't think I've played a fire and movement system game, uh, but because of the 75th anniversary of D-Day, they came out with this series of games. So each one of these you can play the beach. It is possible to link up and play both of the American ones together, or both of the Commonwealth ones together, or you could join them all four in theory and do a huge game. That is possible. Whether or not that defeats the point of having a small folio game, that's up to you to decide if you want to do that. What we'll do is we'll just crack these open. Because they all have fairly similar contents to them. Um, it's obviously just their own exclusive rules. And different counters that obviously map work. But these are really nice folios. Um, and what I mean by that is... So you get your little rule set in them. So you've got your basic fire and movement system rules, which is what, five, six, seven, eight pages of rules, and you've got your Utah only rules, which is only four pages, but you also, oops, I don't want to get that in properly, okay, but what's nice is, it's just a small sheet of counters, these games don't have a big footprint on the table, it's very quick and easy to play these. Like you have a second drop zone, 101st drop zone, nice clean small counters, and the reverse side of those you got some priests, or shaman. Those are just awesome looking counters. You do get a single baggie to put all these in, and then we've got the map. Okay, and so you got the map right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just, I did, this is Bocage, <laughs> that's a lot of Bocage, they, they're not messing around on this one. Um, so this is, did we say this was Omaha? No, this is, yeah, no, this is Beach to Bocage and Landing in Linka. Okay, so this is, what? This is Utah, that's interesting, yes. Utah Beach up here, you do got the, the back end of Omaha down here on the other side of the view. So, well that's interesting that they've done that. So yeah, you've got ranges of Pont du Hoc over here, which is a place that I have was lucky to visit one time. Beautiful, uh, very moving place to go, very touching, very inspirational. But yeah, it's a single small map. You got that tiny, almost quarter sheet of counters just to play around with and have a good time with. So that's Utah landing in Link Up. Let's just crack open Omaha here real quick. So Omaha has a, the same stuff. Fire movement rules. Another four pages of Omaha rules. Counter sheet, so you don't have any other para drops um, landing sites on this one. You do get another baggie. And then we get the. Oh, that's interesting. It's the same map. Well, that's fascinating. It's the D Day Bocage and Landing and Link Up. So this is the same map for both of them. That's what I was, that was very interesting that they did that. They already, there's Omaha and there's Utah, and that's really it. So you just get a new set of counters to play this aspect of it. But you can play them both on one of these maps. Now I do wonder if these are the same here then. So I would expect this to be Gold Sword and Juno. I imagine we have all three on one map, if that's anything to go by. Yeah. So let's crack 
crack this open. Yeah. So we have all three of the Commonwealth beaches on this one. So this, I don't know if you can see this, there's a tiny yellow dotted demarcation line down here. That's where those two maps join together, basically. Yeah, so this is, you, if you're playing this scenario, you can't go over that line. These half hex are unplayable. If you play them together, then this is probably a demarcation line between, you know, they, they didn't mix their forces or anything, so. Um, Sword Beach, Golden Juno. Significantly less bocage in this part of the map, at least. But you got Khan, so you're just landing on Sword, trying to rush down to Khan. And let's take a look at the counter sheet. Also a baggie. So this counter sheet. Little Germans here, and a bunch of you. Uh, Commonwealth pieces up here as well. So there's British are these kind of light tan Canadians. This kind of dark tan slash greenish olive color. And then the last one, Sword Beach. So I imagine this is the same map. I could be wrong. I don't think that I am. No, this is the same map. But we do get the new sets of counters here for the British. They got 6th Airborne Drop Zone. We'll be doing all of that with the 6th Paras. And there's a lot more Germans on this one as well. And with these, let's see. Put these back in here nicely. Yep, same fire movement rules. They are able to condense the special rules onto four map onto four pages there as well. Okay. So you can buy any one of these individually and just play it. It's a small, nice, tidy game to play with. If you want to play the whole of the US landings, you need both of these. For the special rules and the counter sheet, you use one map. If you want to join both of them together and play all of them, you need all four for all the counter sheets and all the special rules, and then you can stick them all together on two maps. So, um, what's nice is you can pick and choose what you want to do with this one. So, I've never played this system, but a small war game that's got a small footprint, that's got a small rule set that is playable, always something that I'm very interested in, especially with it being uh, the 75th anniversary of D Day this year. So. We'll get cranking with some of these and let you know how they are in the next coming weeks, okay? So I appreciate you tuning in. I've been Alexander from ThePlayersAid.com, and this is the D-Day Folio series from Decision Games.